Under copyright law, a creation becomes the intellectual property of the creator. So before anyone can copy or reuse any material, they need to check that they have permission to do so. This means finding out whether permission for the intended reuse has been granted every single time. And this can be a time-consuming and potentially costly process as copyright owners may charge for this. In some cases, the proposed use might fall under a copyright exception, which allows for limited reuse without the need to seek permission first. One example would be using a short extract for illustration in a lesson or lecture. Another is private study and research, which means that students can copy for their own personal use. The exceptions to copyright also allow you to make copies accessible for disabled students if the material is not otherwise commercially available in a suitable format. When copying under the exceptions to copyright, it is expected that you only copy as much as is considered fair. This is usually referred to as fair dealing. The Intellectual Property Office website provides helpful guidance on the conditions attached to copying under the exceptions to copyright, in particular for teaching and learning, and these should be checked carefully before you assume that the copies you are making will be covered by the exceptions. In other cases, a creator can decide to make their work available as open access or under a Creative Commons license, which generally means that there is no need to seek permission to use the material. Whether you make copies under the exceptions to copyright or an open license, it's important to check the terms and conditions so you are sure that you understand what you can do with the material and for what purpose you are allowed to use it.